manufactured into Morris, Florida, features the Rotax 912, amphibious repositionable landing gear, fiberglass deposit fuselage, fabric tubular wing. The Aventura 2 being manufactured right now in Tavares, Florida. We are here at Sun and Fun. I'm Dan Johnson. I'm talking with Jason Spinks, uh, kind of a new guy at Aero Adventure. So, uh, when did you join the company, Jason? I actually joined in October of this past year. Okay, so you got a few months on the job yes, and uh, you're having some success already. Let's talk a little bit about that before we look at what is behind us here. We'll leave that for a moment. Sure. Uh, tell me what's going on with the company just in this year. You've had some success, as you said. We have. We had a great show at Sebring, obviously. Um, we've sold seven planes um, since the beginning of the year. Uh, so we're really moving forward. In the last six months, we have a total of 11 new kits that are going out, um, some builder assist as well. So it's really starting to make a lot of progress. And I, I think the amphibian market is really making its way back on the scene. Well, there's a whole lot of energy about LSA seaplanes. Sure. You're a kit airplane, I know that. Uh, and those LSAC planes are great. There's some very new ideas that are uh, very exciting, but they're all 130, 40, 80, 200 thousand sure. dollars. They're pretty expensive airplanes. That's We're going to come back to your special deal you got going on. But how many airplanes does Aero Adventure have out in the market now? We have a little over 400, almost uh, 500 kits. 490 some kits are out. We have about 189 flying planes, and that's in um, United States, Canada. We have two in Poland. Uh, again, we're starting to get a big push in Canada as well, but almost 200 planes flying and almost 500 planes out in Canada. Okay, those are pretty strong numbers. Sure. So, and, and right now then, um, you, you've relocated recently too. You used to be down in Rockledge, Florida for years and years sure. and years. Uh, where are you now? We're now in Tavares, Florida, which is the seaplane capital of America. Um, we're right off of Mount Dora, pretty close to Mount Dora, Lake Dora up there, I should say. Uh, great location for us because we've got a lot of great lake access, plus we've got several uh, you know, airports around us that are close by. Our facilities there, we hang out of the land and then also fly in and out of Lake Dora as well. Ah, okay, yeah. You're, uh, that area is sometimes called the Lakes Region of sure. Florida, so it is peppered with it. And I've been to Tavares, where there's another company that also does LSA seaplanes not too far away from you. And they've uh, invested considerably in a seaplane base. Sure. So they really are trying to claim that flag of they, they seaplane are, for base. Sure. And a uh, pretty cool place to be then. So welcome to uh, the Tavares Thank area. Um, <laughs> right now you've got a new product that you're promoting here at the show. Tell me a little bit about what that is, Jason. Well, you know, you sort of touched on it a little bit earlier. Um, one of the biggest things that we've always heard, everybody lo loves getting into the amphibian planes. They love the thought of the light sport amphibian. But that cost factor's been really up there. You know, normally you're going to see 100 to 150,000, like you've said. And for the average person, which by the way is not that bad a price. It, for a it's really plane. not. I mean, it's. But it's, you got a better deal. That's correct. Right. Uh, so for the average person that really wants to get into it, uh, that might be a little steep. So. For the longest time, you know, we have always been hovering in that sixty to seventy thousand dollar price range. We always said we were the most affordable amphibian on the market, but we just made it more affordable. We teamed up with Aero Momentum, uh, which is pr uh, producing. Say that name again. Aero Momentum. Aero Momentum. Okay. Uh, which is producing a hundred and seventeen horsepower Suzuki based engine. Okay, and that's what we're standing in front of. That's correct. Okay. Uh, to offer the best that we've ever been on offer on the Aventura, we can get someone into a full kit. Okay, including engine, everything ready to build, uh, with no additional parts needed, including some avionics for forty-eight thousand seven hundred dollars. Well, that's a that's a very strong price. You it can is. make some money at that price, I hope. We can, uh, you know, and, and, and we've we've done a lot of math on it. Obviously, we realize where we need to be in the market. And I think that's the market and the niche that we're, we're going to try to accomplish. Okay, well, that's a pretty strong yeah. thing. So the engine now, this is this is a substantial engine, but you've got some experience with a similar engine. Tell me about how that works. That's correct. When we started out, we always were using the uh, the Rotex 912, um, and great engine, and we still offer that as an option as okay. well. But in the last year and a half, we've also was approached by Viking, which is uh, manufacturing and retooling a Honda engine. We also have, here in Florida. That's correct. Way, yeah. they're, they're over in Edgewater, Florida. And uh, been a great engine for us. A great, uh, we, in fact, the plane behind us has the Honda Viking engine on it. Okay. We have several flying with that Honda engine. Um, this happens to be the very first Honda Aventura that was ever built. Uh, a gentleman named Bill Simmons from over Rockledge. And anybody who knows uh, aviation knows Bill Simmons in the area. Uh, very similar based engine. Uh, we've had great luck with this. The price point has been great compared to the Rotex 912, for example. Uh, this one here really brought it down and helped us out the kit. We did our math, they did their math, we come together and decided to build the most affordable amphibian on the market. All right, well, yeah, under $50,000, and you're talking a nose-to-tail kit with 
even some instruments you said? That's correct, basic, basic avionics and also set up for, we've been setting all of them up for the iPad and uh, the Wing 7 program as well. Okay, cool. Well, we want to ask you, Jason, about some of the uh, different opportunities for a builder and what the potentials are and what the different products that they might get are and, and a couple price points. Folks, remember as we talk about prices, these videos last a long time. The prices may change. Contact the factory to know more. We're going to give you the information about how to do that at the end of the video. But right now, let's go back in time a little bit. How long has this airplane been around? It wasn't always Aero Adventure. That's it was correct. another name before that. Give me a little the, history. The plane, uh, the, the plane's grandfather, the father, was the Buccaneer. The Buccaneer. There's, there's hundreds and hundreds of Buccaneers uh, flying. Oh, so let me interrupt you. When you said that number of uh, aircraft before, you were talking Aero Adventure. That's correct. But there's also a lot of predecessors in the Buccaneer That's name. Correct. So this kind of airplane has probably more than a thousand. Oh, I'd say every bit of it. Probably a thousand to fifteen hundred easy numbers. So okay. That's confirmed. All right, go ahead and continue on then. You know, the Buccaneer was the, the, the original plane that formed this plane. Once Aero Adventure took it over, they refined it. There was a, uh, some issues with the hulls on the Buccaneer as far as pitch pulling and so on and so forth. When it was redesigned, it eliminated those problems. And then from there, it just started to skyrocket. So it does have a long, long history. Um, anybody who knows light sport amphibians knows the Buccaneer. And they know this is sort of the son or the grandson of the original Right. Buccaneer. I think most people, uh, if they followed it at all, they do know that there's a common history there. Sure. So, okay, so you got several different kits now. You've got the one you just told us about for under $50,000. That's a two-place airplane with this uh, Suzuki engine in it from Aero Momentum. Uh, do you have, uh, what are you, tell me about some of the other choices. We have a couple of other options as well. We also build an ultralight, okay? And okay. It's a great little platform, very inexpensive to build. You can do a complete ultralight kit for right under $30,000, okay. $29,000 price mark. It's carrying the MZ engine on it, uh, a great little alternative for a two-stroke engine. And you're engine. able to keep this within the weight using that engine? You are, and, so and it's forth. a true, with with the um, the additional weight uh, privileges that we have because it's an amphibian, we're within about seven pounds. We're close, but we're within right about seven pounds of the actual true, uh, true considerations of an ultralight. Okay, with the MZ-202, you said? That's MZ-201, I'm sorry. 201, which is how much power in that? Uh, that's a 45 horsepower. 45 horse, okay. So. And, uh, and you're able to, you said you can make the weight on that? You or can by about seven over? pounds. Oh, you're seven pounds yeah, under the magic number? Seven pounds under the magic number. Okay, sounds good. All right, and uh, any other choices in products for people? We do. We also offer an HP, which is another single play, HP standing for high performance. It's a single place plane uh, that offers a platform of the Rotex, believe it or not, 80 horse 912 on it. Okay. Um, you can also put a Now that one won't make the weight, that, so you're going to have to do is, that experimental yeah, this is, this is That's correct. This okay. is not an ultralight. Uh, and we also, the biggest uh, one is normally run a 582 blue head on that motor. Okay. It's a little rocking. It feels like you're fine. No, no uh, pun to the F-22 Raptor pilots, but it feels like you're flying a Raptor when you're five foot above the water, you know, cruising around 65, 70 mile an hour. Okay, so a lot of engine choices you've got. Uh, several different uh, configurations, two place and single place, and a genuine ultralight that you can make weight on. That's so correct. that means no pilot license, no end numbers, no medicals. And you can sell it ready to fly. Do you sell a ready to fly example? We do not, but we do offer a builder assist program that's okay. available. We also have a You can do that there in Tavares? We do it in Tavares, and we also have, depending on where we're at, we have a couple of builders, which I'd like to talk about a little bit, builder okay, opportunities. Sure. Uh, we have a couple of builders that are doing a builder assist program I as see. Well. Where are they located? Who are they? We have a gentleman up in Ohio, North uh, uh, Cleveland, Ohio area. His name is Matt Percio, a okay. uh, new dealer. Uh, and we also have um, uh, a gentleman down in Malabar that's doing uh, the builds on the Sea Ray and also the aperture. Okay, great. Well, you've given us a lot of information, Jason. Thank you for that very much. But uh, let's talk about how we get even more information and how we can find those other dealers and contact you folks. Uh, we'll put it up on the screen, but just give great. us your web address. Sure. Our web address is www.csea-plane.com. We'll get all that. We'll put it up on the sure. screen for people. Okay. And uh, it's a great little website. It goes on and shows the different options that are available, the different models. It also has a dealer locator as well and used stock as well. We do quite a few trade-ins uh, okay. with people, so we have a, a pretty good uh, uh, stable of used aircraft as well. All right, so you got the web address to get more. We've been talking with Jason Spinks here. Uh, I have lots of information on these airplanes and many more airplanes and plenty of videos for you to watch on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining Jason and me here at Sun and Fun.